search for download Zem. This is the website. Go to the website. This is the current version 8.1 to 8.12. Download it for your OS, Windows, or Mac. And then another thing that you have to download is the latest WordPress 6.11 from WordPress.org. After finish downloading, we'll start the installation. Choose your preferred language. Next, and then next, and then just wait. While waiting, I will extract this WordPress 6.1.zip. Extract it, and after we have done with the XAMPP, we can proceed with the WordPress installation. Okay, extract to your preferred folder. Then we'll take the content and put it under C XAMPP htdoc okay the xam installation is quite slow so be patient at the same time i can extract this another pop-up is about the firewall allow the access for the apache server okay and then do you want to start the control panel right now yes definitely we are going to proceed with wordpress installation so after you have extracted the wordpress you get wordpress folder inside the wordpress 6.1 the original file was this zip file after extraction i'll get this folder and this folder WordPress, you should place it under C, XAM. Okay, if you install it under C program file or C des desktop, please uninstall and install it again because it will cause some problem. Make sure it is C, XAM, yeah. And then you look for the folder htdoc, C, XAM, htdoc, and then drag and drop the WordPress folder to this particular folder, C, XAM, htdoc. Okay, then your XAMPP control panel is something like this. Click start for Apache, click start for MySQL. And another firewall alert will appear. Click allow access. This one is for the MySQL. Make sure the status is green and green. If it's not running, then you should check for other software that is clashing with apache or mysql one of it is skype so if you have skype please exit skype or if previously previously if you have installed wham or um or anything that have similar installation which contain apache and mysql you'll have some problem this will not be running they are clashing so in order to solve that, you have to uninstall the other versions. Okay, next we will go to our website. You can go to localhost, yeah? Okay, whatever you put under htdocs will be accessible from localhost. This is your website. If you can access it, means your Apache and MySQL is not running. So this folder WordPress, I can rename it to Imran, for example, no spaces, all lowercase, no special character. Okay, if your name consists of two words, you can put a dash in the middle. So that my URL will be localhost Imran. Okay, the installation screen will appear. Okay, so this subfolder is depend on what you rename your wordpress folder just now i renamed wordpress to imran so that's why my url is localhost imran imran and then you click continue and then it says you need database username password okay so let's go so to create database and password these are the things that you need to create using php my admin php my admin is accessible here admin okay it will open the url localhost php my admin okay you need to create a new database okay so this database will be placed uh, in this section database name 
depends on what is the database name you created here. So these are the current existing database. Do not delete or modify any of this. We create a new one. Same lowercase all. Uh, all lowercase, no special characters, no spaces. Okay, I use my name as well. Create. So once you click create, you see that on the left side, your database is here, Imran. Okay, you can use uh, your own name, no spaces, no special character. Okay, username is root and password is root. Okay, this one is standard root and root. Then submit. Okay, try again. Uh, the password is sometimes it's empty, no password. Okay, right. Uh, run the installation. Site title, you can put your name. Okay, if you want to follow the grammar, it is your Imran site, for example, username. You can put anything. And then password, uh, choose something that you can recall easily. Okay, do not lose, do not lose your password. Okay, if you choose this strong password, then make sure you save it somewhere. Okay, let's say you choose this strong password. Okay, it's a good practice, but for training purpose or just practice, maybe we don't need something complicated like this. Maybe something that easy to remember. Okay, so your username, uh, avoid something like admin or administrator or root. Those are the kind of username which will be attacked. Uh, easily by any attacker okay so this one is uh, complicated so i will save it somewhere in a notepad first and then email doesn't matter whether the email is correct or not it doesn't check because uh, we are not running any email server so if you forgot your password this email is not really helpful because it need uh, an email server in your system before you can retrieve your password via email. Okay, click install WordPress and wait for a few seconds. Okay, sometimes your browser have this option. You want to save your password. Okay, save it. Okay, uh, make sure remember me, log in. Okay, next, this is your dashboard where you can customize your website and to make your job easy, we need to bookmark this step. So next time you don't have to type the URL, you just bookmark. Okay, put a nice name for your dashboard. You can leave it as default, and then choose a folder. Okay, another important thing that you should bookmark is your site okay this is your site uh, and this is your dashboard so usually you should open both because you want to see your site and you want to edit your site using the dashboard so your site you should bookmark it as well so the next time you don't need to type your address just use the bookmark or if your url is really short it's easier localhost dash my name Okay, this is dashboard already bookmarked and my front end or my website is here. Okay, next we will change the appearance themes. We will try to add new theme. Okay, so for the demonstration, I will use something which already worked before, Colibri. Okay, so I click install and then wait for a few seconds. Make sure you are connected to internet because all these templates are from internet. Okay, after you have installed, you have to activate it. And once you activate, you can choose one of this design every template maybe have different interface this colibri template for example it will allow you to choose one of these three nice beginner template okay i will choose this one modern start with selected design 
is installing something else okay so not all template work like this yeah uh Polybri, it have additional installation okay then you wait until it finish downloading the page builder okay once you are done you will need to reload your website reload your front page okay it will become something like the thumbnail okay this thumbnail will successfully change the overall look and feel okay so you need to customize the menu customize the content okay it is easy okay next we try another template not all template works easily yeah uh, this one is one of the easily customized theme so let's say i decided to add another theme just for demonstration i will choose something which is slightly different nif click activate once you activate you get slightly different instruction okay skip the feedback okay it says nif is now installed Okay, there is additional menu here if you check uh, menu nif option okay uh, here it is slightly different it says you can go to the starter site Okay, so it have some other requirements so not all template works the same so this one have additional options okay most of the templates have a free version and paid version it says that you want a better version you have to pay okay get the NIF business if you want okay so this one uh, NIF provide with several templates uh, i guess i'll try this one okay it says you have to come uh you have to import the entire site so this one is slightly different from the previous template you have to install a lot of things before you can get the template running correctly it took a few minutes so this one take a longer time because there are many elements to download i skip and add my own content okay add my own content uh, right so my website have become something like this if i go to my front page previously was colibri this one is colibri i reload okay this one is the new template okay so that's how easy we can change our interface using different templates so let's say you have decided that okay this is not the template for you you want to use the previous one you can always go to appearance themes okay uh, the current active one is nif if i want to revert to colibri i can activate colibri so this is how easy you can change between two templates this one the current this one the previous one if i click the previous one it will go back to the previous version okay so the previous version is loaded once you change the active theme okay so that's the advantage of wordpress that you install on your own pc if you go to wordpress.com you have a lot of limitation you can install a lot of things unless you pay for the uh, account premium account 